guys. <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Ariana, and this is pretty much the only time I ever wear pink. So, there's that. Uh, welcome back guys. It's been a while. Like three months a while. Um, wow. Sorry. I have a cool story for you guys. <laughs> and also get ready with me. So story time first and then I will show you all the things that happen in result of that story time. Ooh. So basically how this video is formatted is me telling you about all my stuff that's stolen and what stuff it exactly it was that were my favorites that were stolen. So if you want to see that type of video um, then just keep on watching. Any new people I'd like to say welcome to the channel and I would love to see more of you so go ahead and subscribe down below and let me know what kind of content you guys like. Let me know what kind of is your favorite food. What is, what's going on? How's your day? Just talk to me down in the comments. I will reply. And with that being said, let's get into the video. My stuff got stolen. <laughs> so a short story time, kind of. Um, right, I think, the last week before the new year, um, I went to work early in the morning and someone stole my purse, shattered my window completely just to steal it, and uh, luckily my wallet and stuff was not stolen, which I'm very fortunate for. Um, that purse had all of my makeup that I had recently been using, and to be honest, they were my ultimate favorites at that moment, and I'm really really sad that that happened because I had just bought a couple good things and I had been using them non-stop ever since and I was excited because I had planned on doing get ready with me all updated and completely new products that I had been loving and using on a daily and <laughs> and now I can't do that so <laughs> so yeah Instead of showing you what I would normally use in my ultimate favorites, I'm going to show you stuff that I use instead now and tell you about the product that I was using but can't show you because it got stolen. <laughs> it's just all a big laugh to me, honestly. Um, and I hope you guys kind of find it funny too because honestly... That's all you can do in that scenario, is just laugh at the ridiculousness, because in reality, it could be way worse. My acne's bad again, but are we surprised? No. But I'm in the process of trying something new out. Um, as soon as I figure out if it works for my skin, I'll let you guys know. But let's get into the sad tutorial, shall we? So, I'm going to be using, which is, luckily, I got it back due to gratis at my work. Um, I got the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, so we're going to use that today. Um, I had a full one, and it was barely even used, so that was fun. So after our primer, I'm going to go ahead and put some chapstick on. Um, I would be using the NARS After Balm, I believe it's called, the NARS Lip Balm, Orgasm Lip Balm, and it's in like a little, like almost like a lipstick, but it's not quite a lipstick, it just has like a slight tint to it. So instead, we're going to be using the BKR Paris Water Balm. I started using it as just a chapstick and it works just as good stick my finger in there. So next we're going to use a beauty blender. <sighs> Ooh. Love that. So next we're going to use a, a little sponge to put some foundation on. Um, I would be using the NARS Radiant Longwear foundation in Fiji, but that's the one that got stolen. So instead, we're going to use a MAC Studio Fix Fluid mixed with the Makeup Forever HD. And I used two pumps of the 
Studio Fix Fluid and one pump of Be Makeup Forever. I like two pumps actually. And then I'm going to be using a Beauty Bakery sponge. Luckily I was able to find more of these in my drawers because I usually get the, um, it's honestly a better deal, honestly. Honestly? Honestly? <laughs> honestly, if you're using a beauty blender, then you're kind of missing out because Beauty Bakery has these little eggs and they're six for $18 rather than one for $20. Seriously missing out and it blends just as well, if not better. The MAC foundation smells so good to me. I know some people don't like MAC for that reason, but honestly pretty much I like smelling it. It's, it's a really nice satisfying smell. Maybe because it reminds me of school, but I like that smell. So next we're going to use some concealer. I have a couple different ones that I like to use now. Um, so this one is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I sometimes use the Tarte one even though it's a little drying and it's not really my color anymore. Both of them are pretty, pretty light. I know I am light, but not this light. <laughs> and then I also have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I usually use this one for like around my eyes because of my dark circles. It has more of a peachy tone in it, which is why I used two different NARS concealers that were stolen. Those ones were, I believe, creme brulee and vanilla, either vanilla or light vanilla, and then NARS creamy radiant concealer. I love the blendability of the NARS radiant creamy concealer, and I feel like the tones that I had and the way I used both of them made it look like a very natural finish, like as if it was just like me waking up, flawless as ever. So I'll have to get those again once I have the money. Oh, another good concealer that I had in that bag for an option was the Too Faced um, Born This Way Concealer. That one also is really good. I love the, um, the coverage of that one. So I really liked the Too Faced coverage that it had because I used to use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer for all over my face. I really liked the coverage that I got. And I also really like the fact that it doesn't over dry your face like the Tarte Shape Tape. It's very, very similar in coverage, but not as drying. So next they stole my Laura Mercier powder. So now I'm going to go in with the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in Translucent and just set all of my face. So next we're going to get into our blush, bronzer, and highlighter. and. Instead of using the NARS Laguna Bronzer, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in Rich Amber. And luckily, um, my boyfriend helped me get this Gigi Gorgeous Contour Brush. Um, this was one of the brushes that I had stolen. And I loved it so much, and I looked it up to see how much it would be to buy it back. And it was only like 5 bucks, and it was on like eBay. So next we're going to get into blush, um, instead of using the NARS Orgasm blush, we're going to be using one of one or two of the blushes from the NYX Love Disco Lust palette, and it's all of like a cheek palette which is really super cute. Look at those. So I'm going to use this one that's very, very similar to the Orgasm. This one is a little bit more shimmery, but it shall do really really good though and replacing the, the brush I used the Morphe M105 brush I did have a chic blush brush for my Ipsy but I no longer have that I just put on a lot of blush um, at least you know it's pigmented we're gonna dial it down <laughs> It looks a lot more extreme on the viewfinder than in person, so bear with me, okay? Just bear with me. 
Um, next we're going to be going in with highlighter. I was using the NARS Fort de France highlighter. It's a really nice champagne color. But instead of that, we're going to be using today the Kylie um, Pressed Illuminating Powder in Ice Me Out. Do some poof, as I drop it. Next, we're going to do some brow stuff. Um, instead of using the Urban Decay pencil and felt tip pen, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, I was lucky to get this in gratis as well. And then this shade is actually taupe. I usually go for more of a darker shade, but this one, I'm surprised, actually works. If you guys have never used the Urban Decay pen, oh my goodness. That pen is amazing, I have to tell you. The pen is used more so for like brow hairs, and the pen is very, very thin, surprisingly. and. You use it to make like little tiny brush strokes in within your hair to make it look like you have more hair. But I started using it really just only in the front ends of my brow and it was making a huge difference. So next um, I'm going to be using the color Brow Boss Gel in color Dark Brown just to get a little darker. Um, as far as brow gel that I had in my purse. I do not remember what brown gel I had. Normally I use my bronzer as my eyeshadow on an everyday basis, so I'm going to go back in with that Rich Amber Anastasia bronzer and just kind of fill... I'm just going to apply it on my outer corner and then kind of just blend it out into the crease. And I'm going to be taking a smaller brush and just taking the same bronzer and putting it underneath this chair is so fragile. Like, I can't with it. I need a new chair. This isn't even my chair, and it does not be picky. So now, for the sake of it not being relevant to this story and um, the products that were stolen, I'm going to quickly put some eyeliner on and some lashes. Okay, nobody freaking judge me for this liner because usually I do this really well, but I'm not close to the mirror as much. And I'm messing up hardcore right here. Okay, y'all gonna have to just give me a second because I need help and this chair is about to get thrown across the room. <sighs> Alright, so now that I'm officially annoyed with this chair that I'm sitting in, I'm gonna go in with the eyelash curler. I used to have a Revlon eyelash curler, which was amazing. It was perfectly sized and everything. And it was... It was just the perfect eyelash curler and I had it for so long and I just had to replace the little padding right here. But now I have a Tweezerman one <laughs> and I'm still trying to debate on if I like it or not. But um, so I'm going to use this guy to curl my lashes and then I also used to have the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. That one is killing the game. So instead we're going to be using the L'Oreal Vanille voluminous, voluminous uh, mascara. Does anyone feel like they have to put their lashes on in a certain order? Otherwise, they do not turn out good because I am one of those people. I have to put my right one on first and then my left one. Otherwise, I feel like I did something wrong and I need to start over. Like it's a bad omen or something and I need to put on my right one first. If anyone's wondering what lashes these ones are, they are the Lash Couture, um, I believe they're Kiss Lashes, um, Lash Couture Teddy. So now that we have every, pretty much everything done, we're going to go in with our lips, the last but not least. And instead of using the MAC Whirl Lip Liner, Ooh, it's just... Psych! We are going to be using the NYX Natural Lip Liner. We are going to go in with the Orgasm Lip Gloss. And it's like a little tiny one, but I got it in like a little kit. And I've been wanting to try it. So that is all that I have for this video today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
I sure did. <laughs> and I hope to be making more content this year. I'm so sorry that I left and ghosted this whole entire channel, but I'm back. Please give me some ideas of what you would like to see in the future in the comments and I will for sure look at them and give it a good review. I kind of wanted to do a, kind of like a get unready with me so let me know if you'd like to see that. I do uh, quite a few things and I'm trying to see what exactly is going well with my skincare. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.